All right, everybody. How's it going, man? It's me again. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like what you hear so far, we're still getting this thing going. It's all new and stuff like that. So I had a crazy idea and I decided to go after the person that I got the idea from mostly because I didn't like where he was going with it. But that's another topic for another day. So anyway, if you like my channel or you like where it might be going, go ahead and hit that like button. Destroy that subscribe button and just kick that bell out of your way because it shouldn't be there to begin with after you hit those two. All right, so we're going to do a day in a life of me. Not a guy like me, just me. All right, so I'm going to be 41 and I've had a career as an electrician. I've had a career as an uh, auto detailer. I actually own that company, by the way. Um, but a day in a life of a guy like me after the type of life I've had. You see my teeth erect. I got a video on that. Check that out, man. That tells you my story on what happened to me. No, it's not drugs. It never was. It was actually literally trauma and a bunch of other crap like that. So check that video out, man. And I hope you like it. If you do, like I said, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Same thing on this video, all right? But a day like today, I wake up, man. And I usually wake up at about 3.30 to 4 o'clock in the morning every single day. There's nothing I can do about it. I can go to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning, and I will always wake up at 3.30 or 4 a.m., no matter what. Now, the question is whether I decide to go to sleep. Sometimes I'll go to sleep, sometimes I won't. I'm kind of a chicken tender. I own quite a bit of chickens. I try to sell eggs on the side um, because the egg prices nowadays are just absolutely ridiculous. So I've got, I don't know, like 57 chickens and one rooster. And so I tend to them every single morning. It's winter time where I'm at. There's snow outside. We have freezing temperatures. So I boil water and I take it out and I throw it into a kiddie swimming pool filled with ice so that it melts down the ice, cools down the temperature of the water, and the birds can go ahead and get their drink for the day. And I proceed to go ahead and fill up their food trays. I check the nesting boxes, get all the eggs and stuff like that. Once the chickens are done, I'm on to the next project. Honestly, I've got quite a bit of them. After all, I do live off grid, so it's pretty interesting. I have a bus. It's a school bus. Yeah, I live in a school bus, um, but I bought it for $2,000, and I turned it into an RV, and I did all the paperwork required and everything that I needed. It's fully insured. It's fully registered. It's permanently registered as a motorhome, not even a, a bus, so I did what I could to go ahead and go, but you know, I've you've got certain things you got to do. So you've got dishes just like everything else, your standard stuff you have in the house. The only thing I don't have to worry about is paying too many bills. Um, and the reason is because I've got some other stuff. I've made some videos. I'll make some more videos if you want that are more in depth on those particular topics, which I'm probably going to do anyway, because we're going to go ahead and have a lot of content on my channel. I've also just downloaded rumble and I did that. Because I'm trying to get out there. I'm trying to get this thing going. I want everybody to have all kinds of different perspectives on how to live life, how to do this, how to earn that. There's so many different ways. This is not a scheme. I don't care. The only thing I do is put it on here. And if you decide to help me out and make money with it, then cool. If not, it still helps me regardless. Because one, I get to get it off my chest. Two, in my type of lifestyle, there really isn't too many people close to me and there really isn't too many people that I can talk to. I do have a couple and I love them dearly and I cherish them for the fact that they're around in my life, okay? But for the most part, I got a lot to say. I love talking. I love talking about all the topics, not just a couple. I always try to stay away from politics. <sighs> You know, the way our country's going nowadays, it just kind of sucks. You got to get into it, unfortunately. 
even if you don't like it, all right? And me, personally, I'm not voting for the Democrats. I'm not really voting for the Republicans on any bigger majority one side or the other. This country was founded by both that were both neutral. That's what we honestly need to get back to is a state of neutral, okay? Otherwise, we're going to have nothing but problems, all right? So that's why I'm doing this. So in a day in a life for me, I wake up in the morning. I'm usually in a lot of pain. My neck and my body and everything else is usually popping all the time. I got a lot on my mind. Sometimes I wake up with a migraine. Sometimes I don't, you know. My teeth never hurt when I wake up, just to let anybody know. Not unless anybody's ever getting, you know, yeah. 1934 rusty car right so anyway so i'm usually like trying to realign myself and stuff like that i've been to chiropractors i had been to counseling and all kinds of other stuff throughout my life so after i'm done popping i usually go out and do the chicken thing then after that i got to decide on whether i got firewood i got to do i have a wood stove in this thing you know i'm constantly having to cut firewood split firewood go get firewood and in the wintertime where I'm at, sometimes there's a lot of snow, so you have to make sure you have a good vehicle and a way to be able to get in there. And I happen to have a very good four-wheel drive vehicle that I have four tire chains with, and so I can happily just truck my way out to where I got to go with my trailer down a bunch of trees that are standing dead and clean up all the deadfall in the area that I can do, which I actually do first before I go for the trees. Most of the time I'll clean the deadfall out and then I'll look for the totally dead standing tree if I still need wood. I'll hack that down. I'll fill my trailer. The great thing is, is I accomplish two things. One, I go get firewood, which is, you know, an absolute necessity. The second thing is I get to do something that I like to do a lot, and that's get out in nature, okay? I like to get out in the mountains. I like to get out on the rivers. I like to get out on the trail. I'm really big into dirt bikes, mountain bikes, BMX bikes, believe it or not, rollerblading, because when I was a kid, that was huge. It's when it first came out, man. When I was younger, I remember that hit the scene, and it was like the hottest topic, so I'm into all that kind of stuff. I do standard conventional tackle fishing. I do fly fishing. I tie flies. I do all that stuff, okay? So in a day in a life for a guy like me is really depending on what I feel like doing, all right? Now, the only reason I don't have a job is because of this. I have become a person which I'm actually still checking on all this when it comes to medical and stuff like that, but I've become a person that has been deemed unable to pursue work in the state I'm in, or any other state for that matter. Plus, on top of that, all the medications that they had put me on, there was one medication that I believe they were having me overdose on, and they said it was the max I was able to take for my body size and, and type and everything, but I honestly feel like I was ODing on it pretty bad. Because um, it did cause really, really bad memory loss. Like, really, really bad. My short term is shot. There's a lot of things I don't remember short term memory wise, including names. I can meet you 36 times, and if you don't strike an impact with me, I'll never remember your name. As a matter of fact, I shake your hand, and five seconds afterwards, I probably forgot your name. I'm sorry. So, when it comes to long term, it's. It's like a Rolodex, man. Sometimes you're flipping to that area because you know it was there, and then, boop, it's gone. And uh, so it's kind of it's kind of crappy. So a day in a life for me can be kind of difficult sometimes. But if I'm not doing firewood and I'm not taking care of chickens and I'm not doing anything else, you know, four-wheel driving, stuff like that, because sometimes when I go get firewood, I actually do do rock crawling. Not major rock crawling like R or S R S or S R R S or whatever it is. Nothing like that. But seriously, you know, like you get a couple of boulders here and there that you can pinch through without tipping too much or pinch up over and stuff like that. I do it. I get in there. I go get what I need to get, man. I mean, that's just the way it is. I don't have an option, dude. I, I go and I get my stuff done. Okay. That's just the way it is. All right. So I like to have time. I like to get things done and have time for something else. I don't like to be behind schedule. Being behind schedule for me is like one of the most irritating things as possible. 
So it really just depends. I mean, sometimes I'll go and I'll go soak in a river. You know, yeah, it's wintertime, it's freezing cold, but there's geological thermal water features where I'm at and I go take advantage of them. And sometimes I'll go hang out with friends. I go bowling, you know, I mean, I'm going to have that in my channel. I'm going to have bowling. I'm a no thumb bowler plus a thumb bowler plus a one-handed no thumb bowler, but I prefer two-handed no thumb bowling just because, I don't know, it's, it's, it's the way the ball goes down the lane. It's just magical to me, you know? So a day in the life of a guy like me is really, really random. I can do whatever I want, what I want, when I want, all that fun stuff within reason. You know, I don't go out, I, I'm, I'm not on drugs. I don't go out and break the law or nothing like that. I have always been a really active person. And I mean, you know, all my friends growing up and my family and all that stuff, man, I was always outside. And everybody's, where's Ron? Where's Ron? Where's Ron? <laughs> Nobody knows where Ron is, man. If Ron's not home, good luck. If he didn't come find you, you're not going to find him. That's the way I was. So that's why I like covering so many topics. That's why I have so much to talk about because honestly, I have done so much throughout my life in a positive way and a lot of things that I've tried to stay out of in the negative regions but just got wrapped up into. I've had my share of just crap like everyone else. And yeah, sometimes you have a choice to make. You can either decide to let it hit you and slam you to the ground or you could be like me, and you can be a guy that takes the ultimate negatives and starts turning them into positives. I hope you guys like that. If you do, hit that like button, subscribe, kick that notification bell out of the way so you can be notified about any of the new videos that I drop. Like I said, I'm going to be covering bowling, I'm going to be covering fishing, I'm going to be covering dirt bikes, I'll be covering BMX bikes if you want everything we're gonna do politics and yeah i don't care i downloaded rumble just to do it because that guy kind of got under my skin yeah i i went to the andrew tate level and because he gave me a good idea he gave me one good idea out of everything everything he'd ever said he gave me one good idea and i went ahead and applied the prison joke that you always see in movies. If you want to make a name for yourself, you go after the biggest guy in the yard at the time, and you either take him down or you still prove your point. So that's where I'm going. I'm not going to be blasting him the whole time. Like I said, I got a bunch of other stuff. So stay tuned, and I hope to see you next time. Leave me some comments. I'll always try to reply as much as I possibly can. I'm a busy man. I got a lot of stuff going on. And that's mostly because when I sit still, it'll start eating away at you. And I don't like that. I like to think about what I'm going to do to be positive and what I'm going to do to get out there and help anybody else I possibly can. Whether I'm a negative influence or a positive influence, if you can learn from me, that's what I'm going for, all right? You can either look at me and be like, oh my God, that's not a way to treat your teeth. Oh my God, that's not a way to look at things. Either way, I helped you. I'll see you later.